All right, so here we go. I got my uh, B2 box here. I'm gonna mount that today on my van. Try to clear up some things here. I'm working on a woodwork, uh, woodworking project here for this van and uh, just have too much going on. And I've been waiting for nicer weather so I can put this up. So it's nice enough today out here in Colorado. So I'm actually gonna try to knock it out. Um, it came in a box, this box right here. I took it out, well packaged, just like old owl gear. Uh, took that out. I actually had to flip the box over to get it out because it's legitimately heavy and I tried to lift it up just and get it out of the box, but I could not. So I had to flip the box over and then just lift this cardboard box off of it and leave it on the floor like this. Comes with a little kit. Kit. It says backwards. It's got, it uh, looks like some uh, anti-seize in there and then the hardware that comes with it. So I'll try to record this as I'm going along and kind of show you how it goes on there. I've never done one before, so I'm curious myself how that's going to work out. So I'll probably have to put a stand of some sort, maybe this, although this looks like it's a little bit too high, so I can set it on something while I'm trying to install it. Um, but uh, I'll let you know what I figure out. Or maybe I can use these uh, saw, uh, saw horses and see what that does for us. So that's the plan right now. And uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, so it's probably a little windy out here. So hopefully you can still hear me though. Um, so this is what I've done right now. And you know, first trial of course. So this is about one, two, three, four, uh, two by fours that it's standing on. And it kind of almost gets pretty close to aligning to that bottom hole and that bottom one right there but it just is short. So I figured I'd get these little one by one by threes and uh, that should take me all the way up there. But as I was doing that, I also started thinking you could probably place a jack. So this is sitting, sorry, this is sitting on a camping table. Um, one of those standard uh, plastic camping table things. Um, I'll measure an appropriate or the actual distance for you actually, maybe that's, more helpful if you're watching and you're like, well, what is that exactly? So I think the table is, let's take a look. So uh, 29 inches to the top of that table. And then that hole is actually, what, like on my van, like 14 and a half inches. But I also have uh, the bigger tires on my van. So I've got the non-factory, the aftermarket 275 70, 17. So it'll be different, of course, depending on your van and also depending on where exactly you want to mount them. I think I want it as close to the bottom as possible so that in case I've got more room up here, I can do something else with it or more room at the top, sorry. I can do something with that. But so I'm going to try to mount it at the bottom. What I'm actually gonna do instead of using a jack, cause I also thought maybe I could just put a jack underneath there and I can control that a little bit better and get it to where I need to be. But I think maybe I can also just put blocks underneath, the, underneath, underneath each leg. So either way, I'm gonna keep going at it here and see what I come up with. All right, so here's what I finally decided to do here. I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say this was easy. It's pretty interesting. So I've got this, one by, or what is this, half by one. <laughs> um, little block right here to finish off the um, four two by fours that I have. And that aligned it perfectly to the, the bolt that I'm gonna do, which is that bolt right there. And that is bolt number, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is bolt number eight from the bottom, okay? So it wasn't easy trying to maneuver that, hold that in place, put the washer on. I put the washer on first. I let the bolt pop out a little bit. I put a washer in there first uh, and um, that kind of held onto the bolt. Then I was able to hold that nut in place while I had my hand in here holding the head of the bolt from this side, you can't really see, but holding it from the inside to stop it from, from spinning, all right? 
So it's it's pretty challenging. I don't know how better they can do it or how they can design it any different, but you know, uh, just from trying to do it, that was not very uh, fun. And then I, I didn't put the anti-seize compound until after I got the bolt in there because I figured it would just get too slippery trying to do it any other time. So then I just kind of put the packet I opened up the packet right there and I just kind of squeezed it in and I kind of squeezed it in like that and so I got it in there somewhat. So um, that's good. So the reason why I did the top bolt first is that um, the bottom is going to be a little bit more challenging because if you look inside there's this shelf over here so the bolt location is actually underneath that shelf. You can kind of see it peeking over to in the middle of the camera right there. So I just figured it's gonna be easier if I do the top first and just leave it loose like that. And then I'm gonna do the top on the other side, leave it loose and then deal with the bottom at that point. Because also then I kind of have it secured and not, you know, wobbling on these two by fours and whatever else not. So um, the mission now is to get the side done. Okay. <laughs> So if you're watching this, don't make this mistake. So I'm having the funnest time, you know, trying to get these bolts to stay in and the washer at the same time while swinging my hand, my other hand in the box and holding it to stop it from spinning. So I decided I'd use one of these fancy ratcheting uh, uh, wrenches that I have. But as I'm tightening this, I realize, wait a minute, how am I gonna get it out of there once I have it tightened because I'm not going to be able to release that because the bolt's going to be sticking out and there's not enough room to pull it out after the fact. So if you were thinking this would work, guess what? That's not going to work. And I've also decided to do both sides at the same time or both the right side of the, the vehicle at the same time because I think that's the only way that I'm going to be able to do it. I try to do it on that side. You can kind of see the bolt. Can you? And yeah, no, yeah, maybe right there. You can kind of see the bolt sticking out. And I try to do it so I could do the top first, but that's not working out because I set up this table and I pushed it all the way in so I had a place to stand right here and reach for that. But on this side, because the table is so long, I cannot reach that to do this side. So if I kind of put my body right there and I try to reach across, there's no way because of the door, I can still reach in there to stop the bolt from spinning. So I'm gonna to have to find a way of doing that a little bit different. So for right now, I'm gonna undo that and uh, just uh, use my fingers to hold that while I try to screw it in. All right, so again, excuse the background noise. Yeah, I hear some construction close to me, but uh, just the order of operations for these bolts. So there's this special washer right here, which I'm assuming this is going to be to keep the water out. Okay, so that actually goes inside the box. So here's my orientation right now. So that goes on the inside of the box, right? And uh, the bolt goes through it like such. So I'm trying to do this one handed. So that goes in like that all the way to the end, right? And then this is going to go inside the box and come out like so. And then there's another washer, which is that one right there, which goes on the outside. And that's the, uh, the nut on there. So that's how I'm setting that up. And now I've started just putting in the grease before I put it in because it was kind of becoming a little challenging to get it done any other way. So what I'm doing is that I'm just grabbing this and squeeze, squeeze. Just putting that out. Putting that on there like that. You should probably have gloves on when you're doing this, honestly. I don't know what the that kind of chemicals they make this stuff with, but gloves always make it so challenging when working uh, with these things, so it's kind of a catch-22. But that's how I'm doing that. And then this is going to go in the vehicle or in the box and come out on the other end. Okay, so finally got this done. It's all secured. Um, and I've got, I actually have some concerns, right? So 
I've got this done here. That's a washer. There's another washer on the inside that's supposed to stop the water from going in. But my concern is if you look right here, this actually touches the B2 carrier. So as I was screwing it in, I feel like it got to a point where it's so tight up against there that it's maybe starting to um, make a hole right in that. And so that's that's pretty concerning for me. And what you guys are seeing here, just in case you're wondering, what is that? That's just that anti-seize. So that's not a problem with that. But um, same thing with that one over there. The same thing happened. And then uh, I didn't have enough washers. I think they only sent me three washers. So I had to put a different washer on the one on this side. And you can see, once again, it's touching there. That washer is also a little thicker. So that's whatever on that but uh down here at the bottom same thing that bolt comes out and it starts drilling against this b2 carrier so i think that bolt needs to be shorter or the distance between this and that needs to be a little bit bigger so one of those two things have to give i don't know how everybody else did theirs um and if they had the same experience but i actually had to finally get a person to help me hold an allen wrench on the inside um, while i did that and it's definitely easier if you get two people to do it so um, i recommend that when you're doing it you have somebody to help you out but uh otherwise that's that it's installed it looks good um i guess i don't need this piece of plastic uh it's a good looking box absolutely fantastic looking box and i i really like it and I think it's gonna complement the van pretty dang good. And it's gonna help me take some of the stuff that's inside and route it to this box here so that there's just more, uh, more room inside. So, absolutely fantastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the bike racks, or the one-up bike racks, and I'll make sure that I have video on that too. So, uh, if I don't link it to this, just do a search but it's probably gonna be the same day when I'm doing this, so both both videos should be available at the same time. But that's how that looks. All right. <laughs> 